Welcome to this short video where we'll cover how to handle consolidated billing and managing parent, child, partner, and reseller relationships within Zone Advanced Billing. We'll also cover how using this feature, you can separate group and sort services to allow flexible presentation of those services to your customers that you're invoicing. Here we are in NetSuite and we're starting on a billing profile. Within the Zone Advanced Billing module, you can add as many billing profiles as you want, and they're often used to dictate when you want to group subscriptions together to bill a different entity. On this billing profile we have here, this is for a company called Combined Resources. So any subscription that has this billing profile, when we go to bill the charges, they will be mapped and billed to the parent company, which is called Combined Resources HQ. Um, we also have some options here in the billing profile to separate, combine, and even sort and subtotal information of all the services across those subscriptions that you're grouping together. So for example, with the separate feature, we could create a rule that says any hardware gets put on a different invoice from software. Within the combine feature, we could be saying if there's a like item or service across multiple subscriptions, I want to combine those into one line. And then within the sorting and subtotaling, we can then extrapolate out the details and say, I want to sort and subtotal by the end user, the end customer. I want to add a header and a subtotal row in the order in the invoice when this gets combined. And then here we're using dynamic handlebars to pull dynamic information from the subscription items and the subscriptions to be displayed to the customer. All right, we also have this tab called used on subscriptions. So we can see here that we have three customers and three subscriptions that are linked to this billing profile. So I could drill into the combined resources East Coast. So I'm now going to the, their subscription, which again is linked to the end customer East Coast. Here on the preferences, we can see where the billing profile was selected as a dropdown so that when we go to invoice any charges from the subscription, it'll actually be mapped to the parent company. So if I go back to the charges here, we can see here that the first month has been billed. Um, we can see the status here, everything else is pending billing. And I can drill into this order that was created. Again, as we've mentioned in previous videos, this could be either a sales order or an invoice. In this case, it's going to a sales order to potentially have a review and approval. Um, and here's where we can see those headers, sorting and subtotaling coming into play. So this first section here, is for the headquarters. The second section is for the East Coast. And this bottom section is for the West Coast location. And so we can see here we have the header, we've got the subtotal of the 500, and we can actually see the services that are linked to these particular customers. All right, so that is the uh, consolidated invoicing feature of Zone Advanced Billing. Um, I will mention that in some use cases, we'll use the native NetSuite consolidated invoicing. So there might be scenarios where you actually want individual invoices created for each of these three locations and then combined into maybe a statement or a consolidated PDF to send to the customer. But maybe they're each making their own payments or maybe you just want the revenue recognition to be with each of the end customers. You know, there's various reasons why we might use both. But please just feel free to reach out if you have any use cases you want us to take a look at. Thanks for watching this short video.